film freaks back. IMAX, we get it in from intro to the climax. First in the theaters, last one to leave, yo. We don't jet to the credits done, best believe, bro. Make it a double feature if they don't make us leave, yo. And if the movie ushers get up on their heave, ho, we bounce from the rocks. Head down to the ricks. First to join that divorce, then we jet over the fifth. Then we hit a 40 if to grab a sip with our flick. Then we can't impress it out. I max the whole shit. Might hit a river view on an early morning tip. Every movie is different, never know what you're gonna get. Every theater is different, never know where you're gonna sit. All on bathroom breaks, never know what you're gonna miss. It's the film freaks, West Philly cinematic connoisseurs. And now you know exactly what we drop in commas for. Yeah. Film Freaks are in the building, Bat, IMAX, back for another episode, we are uh, popping this uh, hard October going, we steady going, steady going, hard October, so we gonna go into Get all that dope yeah, up, man, you know what I mean, candy coins, <laughs> you know what I mean, candy coins, you know what I mean, is it the worst candy ever, mm-mm, I can't fuck with candy coins, we used to throw them at each other on, on Halloween yeah. night, you know what I mean, we kids, <laughs> That's a whole other thing. I think black licorice might be worse. That's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, there's a whole I never, they never, yo, you weren't giving out black licorice. Yeah, yo, yo, you gave out black licorice, man. We was gonna throw eggs at your fucking house. Being disrespectful, being disrespectful, for real. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna go into some more horror October stuff. We gonna go into some of the dope, dope vampire flicks. Yes. That both me and I, Max, loved and like checking out when we was growing up. Stuff that's up to date. So we Not the Twilight like joints. Nah. nah we 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 gonna they weren't even vampires. Yeah. Emo vampires. Nah. Those dudes just, man. Goofy. What, what Fred Sanford used to say? Yeah. <laughs> You ain't right, Lamont. You ain't right, Lamont. Nah, nah man. man. With none of that, none of that stuff. So we're going to go into the first joint of the day, which is a classic horror joint. It's underrated. Yeah. Due to, and it's underrated, but it had big stars in this. And that's why I think it went over a lot of people's heads yeah. how dope it yeah. really was. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So check out the trailer for Interview with a Vampire. Film Freaks should be right back. Certified. Yeah, like, I guess they didn't get it. What life was until it ran out in a red gush. Over your lips, they live for the pleasure, the passion, the thrill. The story you told me is, is incredible. It's amazing. And they will live forever. Don't make me do this. I cannot! Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt. Interview with the vampire. Y'all just checked out the trailer for uh, Interview with a Vampire starring Tom Cruise. Yes. Brad Pitt. Oh. Uh, Antonio Banderas is in this. Legends, um, uh, Christian Durst, a young Christian Durst. That's, that's, that's uh, but she's a young was, girl, you know what I mean? Like a lot uh, then, Tandy so Newton was in this. It was, it was uh, a bunch. It was a bunch of, like, it was a whole lot of people that are big names right now Power that were in this. And I, I don't know, people really. I mean, I know people mess with it. Like people that like cinema enjoyed it. I don't know, maybe it was a whole Tom Cruise well, you know, vampire plus, thing. Plus, it was a period piece. You yeah, know, like period piece type yeah. thing. A lot of people don't be up on that type of. Yeah, industry, you know what I'm saying? yeah. And maybe that's what it was. You know what I mean? They gotta have either in the, in the right now. You know? Yeah, they yeah. But I mean, that. but they, they. I mean, I guess because it was a backstory. But you know, they they was talking with the interview with Christian Slater. Exactly. Christian Slater is also in this. Who's, who's, making, who's making some real dope stuff like right now? You know, Christian Slater is in this, and um. The, the, actually, the Christian Slater role was supposed to be River Phoenix before he passed. Wow, out. that was supposed to be. Um, Man, yeah, he's gonna be the guy. Mm-hmm. Dang. Be the interview. Yeah, but um, people really don't watch it. But this was this was definitely dope. This is one of my favorite vampire movies. Yeah, like I watch this all the time. I, I really love. The whole thing with Christian Durst and the child and everything like that. Yeah, I, that, that was like one of my favorite parts, whatever, like that. And it's funny because this comes from the same world of, uh, remember that joint, Queen of the Dam? The oh, Delia did and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. It all comes from that same world. That same world uh, with the stat and all that kind of stuff like that. Wow, I didn't even dig up on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. So, that's the first vampire joint of the day. Yes. Interview with a vampire. 1994 was that now one. Now you got me thinking about a lead. Rest in peace. Yeah, bro. yeah. Hey. We're going to go into the next joint of the day, which is uh, Dust Till Dawn. Whoa. 
Dust Till Dawn. This was a game changer drop. Right. Rodriguez, yeah. Quentin Tarantino. Check out the Get trailer. Busy. Film Freaks will be right back. The makers of Pulp Fiction and Desperado. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, two of America's most dangerous criminals are headed for the border. Earlier today, during a daylight liquor store robbery in Big Springs, the Gecko Brothers killed another Texas Ranger. That changes the death toll to 16. One night is all that stands between them and freedom. Now, this is my kind of place. But it's going to be one hell of a night. Harvey Keitel, George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Juliette Lewis, from Robert Rodriguez, from Quentin Tarantino, from dusk till dawn. Film Freak in the building, Fat IMAX. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Freaks for Films. Check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash The Film Freaks. Or check out the official website, filmfreaks.com. Somebody got to die for this guy, this guy. Either way, somebody mama throwing a fish fry. Bigger the beef, bigger the clip size. Home Depot trips, duct tapes. All right, that was the trailer for Dust Till Dawn, 1996. Directed by Robert Rodriguez, starring uh -huh. Ari Keitel, uh -huh. George Clooney, uh, Juliet Lewis, Word. Uh, Word. Quentin Tarantino, starting this, Selma Hyatt, uh, uh, Fred Williamson, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, come on. <laughs> That's how you gonna do it, like you gonna Danny do it like Trio. This? Everybody was in this joint, man. Everybody. This is, this is like, at work, this man. It's a lot going on. It's some epic shit going the, on. The right Titty here. Twister. The, titty. <laughs> the, the dopest thing about this is. It started out as like a heist type film, whatever like that, exactly. and everything like that. And then like it turned into something totally fucking different. And it snapped. Like just that. Like, like that. just like that. And it's a whole different fucking movie, man. Yeah. And, it, and it was wild. Um, I consider this a classic, man. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Classic, it definitely is though. a classic. Um, Quentin Tarantino was supposed to direct it. Okay. But he wanted to focus on the screenplay and his role in the film, so... He tossed the bone to his boy Robert Rodriguez. Shout out to Robert Rodriguez. Who murdered him? Yeah. He killed him. Putting his out jaw, that work, yes. man. Still to this day, yeah, putting out that work. And um, they made the um, blood green so they can get past the censorship. That's why you, you, you can. As long as blood ain't red, as long as it don't look like real blood, you can make it any. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you know what I mean? Without I yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That. So that's why they made it green and everything like that. So you know what I mean? Definitely something to check. If you didn't ever check out, oh yeah, so dark. That's I feel so sorry for you. Listen. And it's the perfect time. It's October. Yeah. It's hard October. Yeah. You know, we can down yeah, it. Yeah, this is it. Get ready. Get, yeah. get oh, involved. The time to check it out. Make sure you check it out. Most uh, definitely. We're gonna go into the next joint of the day, which is uh 30 days of night. Oh, we were just checking this about yeah. a month or two ago. Yeah. Check out the trailer for 30 Days a Night. Film Freaks will be right back. This is a groundbreaking graphic novel. Board the windows. Try to hide. They're coming. Who are they? A new vision of the vampire comes to life. Gabe? That was 30 Days a Night to 2007 horror directed by David Slade, starring uh, Josh Hartnett. Oh, damn, that's my guy. Yeah, that's your boy. Yeah, yeah, Melissa George, Ben Foster, who we just saw in uh, Hell of High Water. Oh, shit. Yeah, man, remember the boy in the jail? The boy in the jail. And uh, oh. Danny Hudson. 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 And uh, he played the uh, leader of the vampires. And uh, this okay, right. is based on a graphic novel uh, by the same name, 30 Days of And it was dope because this. It was dealing with this whole premise of 30 days a night. You know, vampires can really, only come in yeah. at night. And it really happens in 30 This is so, real shit. Like that, that, I thought that was so dope, man. It's really like 
30 days a night vampires come there and they just can now they got a whole month whole just month. to just ball out <laughs> no sleep ball either, out on the no whole sleep town sleep and yo they was going crazy they had those blood beards like they had like like blood just in the beard yo it was just a wild ass flick man if you never Check this joint out. Make sure you and check it. And it goes down in that flick, so get yeah. ready for it if you watch that. Absolutely, show. absolutely. Um, um, Sam uh, Remy. Okay. Was supposed to uh, direct this. That, that's my guy. Why? But um, he fell back and produced it. You know, cause sometimes they just want to. You know what I mean? Just chill. You just want to make sure it look good. Yeah, you don't want to yeah, actually yeah, get the one yeah. behind or the you sticks. Might, or you now. might have a board that, or somebody that you see just lighting like, okay, yo, you, you do this. You know, my young boy. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> that's what he did with David Slade. Okay. And it came out with Thirty Days a Night. And it was that work. work. It was that work, man. So if you never check it out, make sure you check it out. Vampire shit. Horror October, the film freaks, yes. Fast and IMAX. We're gonna go into the next joint of the day, which is Blade 2. Part 2. You know what I mean? That's when shit got serious. You Check out the saying? trailer of Film Freaks and be right back. There's a world beyond the one we know where the powers of darkness fear nothing but one man. We represent the ruling body of the Vampire Nation. They're offering you a truce. They want to meet with you. You sure about this? They'll take us in deeper than we've ever been. Now, those he has sworn to kill need his help to fight a new breed of terror. They're no longer top of the food chain. Our forces are ready to fight, but we need a leader. Let me get this right. You want me to hunt them for you? in the building. You can catch us on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Facebook.com slash Freaks for Film. Or you can go to the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? The Film Freaks. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go directly to the website. TheFilmFreaks.com. You know what I mean? 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 You already know. You know what I mean? Y'all just checked out the trailer for 2002's Blade 2, directed by your boy, Guillermo nah, <laughs> Del Toro, man. <laughs> star, star Wesley Snipes, Chris Christopherson, who's been old forever. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> that white beard been, it's yeah. been trimmed to perfection for yeah, years. He's been old forever. And uh, this was uh, star Ron Perlman also. You also know him as Hellboy, you know what I mean? Another Del Toro exactly. classic. Exactly. You, you know, know what I mean? probably how they hooked up. How and um, uh, Dottie Yen. Was uh starting. He had a That's little cameo in because he did the choreography for all of this. So you got Del Toro, Donnie Yen, Wesley Snipes, Ron Perlman. This was the dopest blade for me. I can understand. Yeah, that. I mean, like I like the first blade and I mean, the, the Trinity, John. That's a whole other story. But this right here went beyond comic book movies. You know right, what I mean? Right. It was a com It was based on a comic book, but it, it, it was it was a horror film. Right. Because you were dealing with vampires, and not only vampires, you had those, 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 those other, what was they called, uh, reapers? Oh yeah, the other, uh, the yeah, other, the other strands, right, right. And, and they were hunting humans and vampires. They yeah. had no fucks was given with no them. Picks. No picks, no picks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wesley actually said this is his uh, favorite blade. I could so he we in good company so with we, that. We, you know what I mean? We, we getting it from the guy himself. From the guy. You know what I mean? Guy Texas. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, we gonna go to the next joint of the day. <laughs> uh, the only lovers left alive. 
Oh, this is a wild one. And I know a lot this of people never even one. heard of this joint. It was like an indie type yeah. of joint, but if you get a chance to check this out, check out the check out the trailer, right. and we gonna come back and give y'all some work about the only lovers left alive. Check this joint out. It's not just a love story. Yeah, it looks like a love story. A That's why. You being so reclusive and everything is probably only gonna make people more interested in your music. Yeah. What a drag. Hello. What is it? You look tired. Can't you tell your wife what your problem is? It's the way they treat the world. And now they've succeeded in contaminating their own blood, never mind their water. Typo negativo. Been expecting you for some reason, uh, Dr. Faust. I'll come. It's just the traveling that's such a drag. And is there a possibility of a night flight from Tangier to Detroit? Is that correct? I love what you've done with the place. Remember when you gave that string quintet to Schubert? I only gave him the adagio. dream about your sister shouldn't she be sleeping in a coffin somewhere anyway probably with a wooden stake shoved in i'm really really hungry do you maybe have something did you smell it all the way from la it's always a bit weird with family you're looking awfully pale there dr caligari is that the really good stuff precisely you've been pretty lucky in love though if i may say so I wish that I'd met him before I wrote Hamlet. Whoa, man. That certainly was visual. Yo, this bass from the Film Freaks. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Freaks for Films. Check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash The Film Freaks. Or check out the official website, thefilmfreaks.com. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all check that out. Subscribe to them all. Y'all just checked out the trailer for The Only Lovers Left Alive, 2013, directed by Jim Jarmusch, starring yeah. Tom Hiddleston, uh, Tilda guy. Swatson, Ooh, that's um, I like that song. Um, I like that a lot. Anton Yelchin. Damn, rest, rest in peace to the guy. Yeah, yeah, well, he was starring in this. Jeffrey Wright is in this. Oh, man, salute. He had a little role yeah. in this right here. And, he um, always shine. A lot of people didn't get up on this. I guess it was an indie type thing. But a lot of the... A lot of the good vampire movies nowadays are indie stuff. That's the way you gotta go. You know what I mean? Unless you're gonna watch Twilight. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Commercial or, garbage. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah I mean, something, something like that. Like they got, I think they got another um, Underworld coming out. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? But uh, other than that... It's like video game stuff. Yeah, though, yeah. You know, they don't really um, get up on it. But if you, this is a real, like, film. Right, exactly. This is like a real... F but it's... And it's it's set under the dressing of their vampires, but it's it's a it's an actual film though. You know what I mean? You yeah, got a whole gotta, bunch of things in that joint. Yeah, like, yeah. It's real shit too. Yeah. It's real. You it know, like, it's it's not it's not only just motherfuckers just biting people on necks in this joint, but and, exactly. and it's dealing with her and in the span of time how vampires can live all his life and do all these things and they how they it was basically how he was influencing yeah, all of these dope. people and stuff dope. like that. It, it, it was really a dope film. Even even if it wasn't about vampires or didn't have vampires in it, it would still be a dope film. So right. only love is left a lot of major and uh Fassbender was supposed to play the lead role for Tom oh, Hiddleston. Man. Yeah. That would have been crazy. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston got it, but Fassbender Tom did a good job with it. Yeah, yeah. He did a good uh, job with fan it. Fan Fassbender, he got enough work. Exactly. <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, he got enough work, man. So we're going to go into the uh, last joint of the day, which is uh, me and IMAX, probably our personal favorite vampire flick. You know what I mean? We were kids, we yeah, were kids yeah, around yeah, the same yeah, time yeah, it was yeah, out. Yeah, so. yeah. Check out the trailer for The Lost Boys. Film Freaks will be right back. You know what I mean?
Yeah, that's, that's definitely my voice. Michael and Sam have just moved to Santa Carla, California. They're about to discover its secret. Notice anything unusual about Santa Carla yet? No. It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. <laughs> was the 1987 the lost boys classic <laughs> classic <laughs> i mean starting the two corys Corey Helm, Corey Feldman, uh, Kiefer Sutherland, my God, uh, Jason Patrick. Uh, yes. it's, this had, this just was dope. The epitome, it, you know. I mean, the this plot was, was dope. crazy, and it was, you know, it was. It was dope for us because we were kids, and and they had kids in there because it was saw through Corey uh, Helm's perspective. Right, that's what me. And I crazy. mean, and it was dealing with him and his older brother and right. dealing with that shit and all like that. And then you had the, the Frog Brothers. The Frog Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's before we read back out because we start thinking about all the elements involved. You know Fucking what I'm saying? Corey Feldman, man. I forget the other boy. I forget the other boy. No, but the, With the glasses. The, yeah, 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 I can't remember his name either, but um... The fucking Frog Brothers, man. That was that work, man. One of the best flicks from back in the day. And um, they man. said Jim Carrey was uh slated to play David in this joint. Word. Yeah, yeah. Now that would have been hilarious. Yeah. That uh, would have been hilarious. Uh, Jim Carrey. Uh, <laughs> but you never know because he did some dope work since. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? But at the time, he at wasn't the time. in this developed bag. Yeah. Maybe and this had a off. comedy aspect to it with the kids and everything like that. Because yes. they, they originally it was supposed to be a, a, like a kid, almost like a um, Monster Squad type thing. That was my shit with, too. With, with kids, vampires, and the Frog Brothers being like like these just like Boy Scout kids going after them. But right. uh, uh, the director, uh, Joel Schumacher, he didn't want. He like I don't want to do that. He didn't want to do that at all, uh, so he changed the whole script up. He's like, I don't want to be a part of the project if it's going to be that. So they changed it up and they made them teenagers and dealing with that stuff like that. But I loved it. Uh, I loved it, man. This is a classic for me. It's, this, it's classic it. it. Listen, any, you, you be hard pressed to find somebody that's in the films and in the movies that don't like the Lost Boys. You yeah, know what I mean? It's one of those. Yeah. It covers all the bases yeah. too. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Damn, I'm thinking about all the parts in that movie. I'm, yeah. I'm, Remember I'm, the maggots I'm, part when he was... Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like all of it. Maggots. You're eating maggots, Michael. I think they said Michael in there like 118 times. I'm sure they did. Yeah, because they kept calling him Michael. 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 <laughs> For Sutherland, especially, he kept saying yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, but I thought he was a dope ass villain. And that's what I mean. You all yeah. you gotta have your villain gotta be on point in yeah. order to sell a yeah. whole lot. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? So that's another horror October episode yeah. in the books. The vampires bite your neck. You know what I mean? You gotta watch you out because they out here. Too. Check your neck. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Real so, Y'all can check out the film freaks on uh, Facebook.com slash freaks for films. You know it. You can check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash the film freaks. Or check out the official website, thefilmfreaks.com. Yes. Like I said, we still pumping for hard October. We got the Philadelphia Film Festival coming yeah, up. We're gonna be down there. Um we got Oscar season coming up. Oh man. You know I mean? oh. There's a whole lot of a whole lot of work coming up there for y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So y'all just gotta stay tuned. Don't turn that dial, nothing like that. Just make sure y'all check us out you know what i mean all day and make sure you subscribe so we're gonna catch y'all next week bats imax film, film freaks Pay y'all at the flick film freaks bats imax we get it in from intro to the climax first in the theaters the last one to leave yo we don't jet to the credits done best believe bro make it a double feature if they don't make us leave yo 
And if the movie ushers get up on their heave ho, we bounce from the Roxy, head down to the Ritz. First to draw on that divorce, then we jet over the fifth. Then we hit up 40 if to grab a sip with our flick. Then we king and press it out, I max the whole shit. Might hit a river view on that early morning tip. Every movie is different, never know what you gonna get. Every theater is different, never know where you gonna sit. All on bathroom breaks, never know what you gonna miss. It's the film freaks, West Philly cinematic connoisseurs. And now you know exactly what we dropping commas for.